Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Anil and in this Laravel video tutorial, we are going to learn that how we can create custom commands in Laravel. So these are the points of the video. First of all, we will create a command file so that we can write our uh, commands and description and operations for the command in this file, right? Then uh, we will write the commands and uh, some more stuffs inside this file and then we will register this command and after that we will write some code to produce a output from this command and at the last I will ask you a question and you can answer this question in the comment box also. So first of all let's uh, just go to the command line and check the all commands so just write here php artisan so you can find a lots of command here and when you just want to write a new command then you need to generate a command file and for that we will use make command uh, make colon command and this is also a command right and just write here php artisan make command and command name so let's say my command name is show db because I just want to check out my db name uh, uh, and I will just run a command and it will tell me that you are connected with this db name right so now let's uh, just go to the app directory then console and commands and here you can see that we have a new file with the show.db name right so there is a two things that we need to change one is signature so I am just going to write here show db right and here I can put my command description so here you can see that these are the signatures and these are the description right so I can just simply write here show me current database right so after that we need to register it and for that let's go inside the kernel.php and inside this uh, commands array we can write here our command so just simply write here commands and uh, then we can just simply put here uh, our file name which is show db so just write here uh, show db colon colon class and we can put a uh, comma here we don't need to put here a semicolon because this is the array and uh, after that let's check again let's clear out this comma all these commands and just write here php artisan and now let's uh, just look out for our this uh, on command <laughs> so here it is we can see that we have our one command which is show db and show the current database so now if i'm just going to run it show php okay, php artisan show db then there is a no error but there is a no output yet because we did not write any output for it so now let's uh, just go in the show db and let's go for the handle function and here you can just simply write here uh, output whatever you want to reproduce here right so just i'm going to write here this info mm, info and here i can just write here like uh, output and why we use this info function this will actually produce the green output right so now let's check again and here you can see that we got the output yes we can also write here echo like say echo hello or something right but now you just find that this is not actually green but if we just write it uh, anything inside the info we will just get the green output right so what i'm actually just want to check here i want to check that my current db name for that i just need to import my db class here so just use here mm. illuminate then support then facade and the last db right now let's uh, go out on our output function and here we can just simply write here current db is 
mm, just write here db colon colon connection and connection is actually a functions and it have another function which is get database name right and this is also a function so now uh, what's the wrong with it yep i have to just put here dot now let's run it again and now you can see that our current db name is blog so if you want to check it and confirm it then you can just go to the env and uh, here you can see that blog is our current db and if you just want to check in the database then we have that one so that's all for uh, this moment if you still have any kind of query you can ask me in the comment box uh, and uh, don't forget to subscribe my channel and like this video and i have a question for you in this video that how we can create a new file with the command line right many time this question is asked in the interviews so please prepare for it and if you want to attempt it in the comment box then you can attempt so bye bye take care for a moment and god bless you